Well, a long while since I made a video. Um, I'm probably gonna scare the hell out of a few people by making this uh, video, but you know, I haven't made a video in three years, and my first video was probably like seven years ago. Um, I've gone through the different types of stages of fragrance users over the past decade or so. And I'm really excited. I want to share some of uh, the fragrances from my collection. I figured I'd get back into it. And um, I'm going to start. I'm going to set the bar really, really high. And maybe I'll come back down, go back up. It's just going to fluctuate. But um, I'll start with my ro most recent um Fragrances by a company called Strange Love, New York, NYC. Um, I had gotten the Discovery set. There was four in there. I think they had um, Fallen... No, I'm sorry. Not Fallen Two Stars. They had Melt My Heart, Dead of Night, which we're going to be talking about in a bit. Um, Silence the Sea. And Lost in Flowers, I think it is. Um, so this one is, it's a small little 15 ml. Um, I'm going to show you in a minute. It's uh, Dead of Night, as, as like I mentioned before. And um, it's so, so tiny. Oh, it's upside down. Um, no, it's not. Okay, so that's, that's the little one. <laughs> I had to get a small one. I feel like it's so, so powerful and so strong that you really don't need very much. Um, and this is occasion specific, so I really don't think um, I would wear it to work. Something that you do every day or whatever. So I don't know. I'm trying to find a good occasion to wear. I love just wearing around the house, but I need a better occasion to that for the price, you know, for the price that it is. Um, let me start off by saying that this is not for everyone. This is real oud. There's real oud in this, so it's kind of skanky. It smells like a barnyard. Um, fecal, kind of. But that only lasts 10 minutes. I say if you're going to go out, give yourself 10 minutes after you spray it before you go out. Trust me. Trust me. At this point, I shouldn't care. <laughs> I really don't anyway. I really don't care. I wear what I like to wear for me, not for anyone else. I'm past that, you know, compliment factor. I don't care if it doesn't give me compliments. Um, this this fragrance actually reminds me of traveling. I don't know why or how, but it just, it makes me feel, it's the scent of success. Like you're traveling, seeing the world. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, it's floral, but it's got rose. I definitely pick up some rose. It's this road ooze com ooze oud combo, but it's done the best way I've ever smelled. That pfft, yes, I said that. <laughs> On I've I've smelled a lot of. Road Ooze combo fragrances in my time. And this is by far the cream of the crop right here. Um, get a sample for it. Like I said, they have the Discovery set. It's not that bad as far as prices go. I mean, Maybe you're for in the if you're in the fragrance groups on Facebook or whatever, maybe you can hit hit up some people or in the groups, you know. Does anybody have some samples? 
I can probably give you guys a note breakdown if you'd like to know a little bit more about it. Um, you know, I probably should have started with that, right? It's an Oriental Woody. Unisex. I definitely think both genders can wear it. Bergamot, Violet Leaf, Rose, Tuberose, Jasmine. So the Jasmine, oof, yes. See, that's why I like it, because of that vanilla. I'm a sucker for vanilla. See, see, with me, I like fragrances that dark and sweet. They have a dark side, but then they have a playful side as well. And they're kind of always doing this with each other. They can't make up their mind. It's like they're doing this. They're always competing for each other. And you, you never know which part you're gonna get. When you smell yourself, you might smell the darkness or you might smell some of that playfulness. Um, sometimes it's both. You know, uh, this one does that. But at the same time, well, the floral notes really, you know what? I'm always catching myself in a lie. There's a lot of florals in here. I mean, the rose itself. Rose, oud, and incense, sandalwood, and vanilla, and musk. I get the musk, too. Oh, my God. Like, it's funny because you don't really know what you're smelling until you read the notes. Of course, I've smelled musk so many times, and then the musk is just right there, right at the bottom. The musk and sandalwood sit right side by side, I think, during, during, down at the base. Um, you don't really get much bergamot. That oud is just, it's there. It's high. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> kind of, kind of thing going on, you know, so, um... I love amber. There's amber. <sighs> this video is very interesting, hasn't it? Yo, I got the Star Labs sweat. Shout out to Grant Gustin. The Flash. I'm a big Flash fan. I had to put that out. Um, this video is coming out to be like eight minutes. Anyway, Dead of Night. Fragrances are subjective, so try it for yourself. Start out with a 15 ml. Um, I got some other fragrances up here. I may go ahead and review those in the coming weeks. Might as well during a pandemic. Um, hope you guys are doing good, staying safe. Wear your mask. And... Have you a good rest of this year? Let's hope 2021 is going to be a better year. Yes. Let's hope things start to recover. Um, I'm excited for a lot of movies to come out. The, the new Wonder Woman. The Snyder Cut. Justice League. That's going to be awesome. Um, looking forward to next year. Really. Um, you guys take care. And uh, talk to you later. Bye.